and welcome to the farmhouse. I am Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and we're gonna start a new series today called Cook With Me. I'm gonna take you guys along as I cook from scratch meals for my family. We are a family of six and always have guests over for meals. So I'm gonna take you along as I make some yummy from scratch meals. Once a month we get together with a group of my friends from when I was a teacher. There are four moms and 11 kids and basically we all meet here at the farmhouse. We let the kids play and basically destroy the house, you could say. And the four of us moms get to catch up and just get some mom time. So I'm always looking for meals to make for a large group and kind of low prep. So today we are going to make our baked ziti in a crock pot. I started this morning by prepping our marinara sauce, which I have linked our homemade marinara recipe for you below. And then I also prepped some sausage to put in our big ziti. So let's get started and I will show you how I'm gonna put this all together. All right, so we are going to work on the cheese for our big ziti. So I'm gonna add, and I'm doubling this recipe because we have lots of people coming over for dinner. So this is going to be eight ounces of soft cream cheese, and then I need half a cup of sour cream, it's a little more than half, but that is okay. The next thing we need is one cup of ricotta cheese. We are gonna go, actually, let's see, that's about half a cup. I don't wanna get <laughs> the spatula dirty because <laughs> I'm not going to use this whole container. So, that looks like a cup. Then, so we got all of the cheeses in. We are going to blend this up. Once we got it all blended up, we are going to add garlic. Oops. I'm going to add two cloves of garlic and a teaspoon is one clove. So one, two cloves of garlic. And then we are going to add a cup of fresh basil. This is not fresh, but I do not have any fresh on me, um, or fresh in the pantry, I should say. So this is from our garden, um, so that's what we're gonna use. And then blend all of this together. There we have our cheeses. I'm gonna clean this up and then before I get the crock pot out, I want to finish up the sauce. So this is marinara sauce. It is 48 ounces of marinara. I made it this morning. Um, there is a recipe for our homemade marinara sauce on our website. I've linked it below for you. If you are interested in making homemade marinara, the only thing I changed from that recipe is I did not put the red pepper flakes in this. We'll have 11 kids here tonight and I didn't want it to be too spicy. So this is marinara with alpha kick. So to my marinara, I'm going to add tomato sauce. And one more. Oh. 
and I'm going to add some water. I'm going to stir this all up. All right, now we're ready to start assembling. To start, I'm going to put three cups of our sauce into the bottom of the crock pot. Okay, then I'm gonna put in a third of our Penny. I'm gonna go with that. And then I'm going to dollop some of our cheese mixture on top. Then this is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I'm gonna spread this out a little bit. Um just so it covers. Doesn't have to be a perfect science. It is going to all melt together. Okay, then three more cups of our sauce. More noodles. Spread it out again. Not the easiest to do, but just do your best. Okay. More sauce. Finish this off. So then I will finish off our cheese mixture. Spread this all out. All right, now that I got everything layered in the crock pot, I am going to take the rest of the sauce and pour it over top. noodle escape. All right, I am going to plug this in, turn it on. So I'm going to plug this in, put the lid on it, and we are going to cook it on high for two and a half hours and then check and see how it's going.
After the baked ziti was done cooking, I added some mozzarella to the top and let that melt before serving. This homemade baked ziti was a hit with all of the kids and it was such a great evening with friends and enjoying a yummy from scratch meal. If you liked this video, please make sure that you hit like and the subscribe button so that you can be notified the next time I upload a new video in this series, Cook With Me. Thanks for visiting the farmhouse and we'll talk to you soon.